Hey, boo, say hi. new rug I got from home is gonna go over there I was gonna get the kids but he volunteered to help um it's reversible so I guess it doesn't matter I actually like the brighter side yeah I don't know either side is good Yeah, they're both pretty. Mm. Yeah, I like this tight lighter side on the top. So then we decided to change the whole position and move the whole stand. So, reorganize. <laughs> Alright, you want it like this or you want it the other way? Uh, I think horizontally is fine. Yeah. So there we go. I think the rug makes a difference, don't you think? It creates a nice little cozy nook area, living room. So yeah, I decided to put it this way instead of lengthwise. I mean, there's room lengthwise, but I just like it feeling a little cozier. Let's give you a look from this point of view. This is my Monstera Dell, which I put outside just to get a little light, but it's underneath the umbrella, so it's not direct lamp light. Um, but as I've told you, I hate seeing labels and stuff, even though this pot goes in, you know, a prettier pot. Uh, just the fact that I see the label, it just bugs me, so I take it off price tag. These blueberries sure are taking a long time to ripen. They're pretty firm, still pretty firm. But I wanted to show you this is potato. I'm telling you this is potato right here. I put some potato pieces in here and they are growing. See, one, two, three, four, five. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Same plant over here. See, it's the same plant over here. And what do you see below it? Potato. So yeah, this is like one of the pieces of potato I put once I saw they were budding because you had an old potato in the house. <laughs> I just cut them and put them in here. So this will need to be removed and planted somewhere else. This is peppers right here. Um, and this could stay in this pot. This is an old Christmas themed pot, but it's quite deep, so I think it'll be fine. Okay, so right here you can see these look like little flowers. These will turn into peppers. I got some shoots coming in here and I don't even remember what I planted in here. That's part of the fun <laughs> when you find out what's growing. I should really label them, right? I know I had some okra seeds in some and I had some broccoli in some. Let's go see how this garden bed is doing. We got some tomatoes and you can see the tomatoes there. Um, the lettuce are still hanging on. This is a row of lettuce or two rows of lettuce. And then I spread out the cabbage here. So there's a lot of space between the cabbage so they can have room to grow. Some mint. And I picked some of this yesterday and used it to eat. We had some fresh mint out of the garden. That was so nice. some thyme some cucumber 
and these beans which are again getting adjusted to the soil so they're not looking amazing not yet they're getting used to this um, location after cutting the roots I thought these hydrangeas were going to be pink but they're more like a lilac color you see the kind of bluish tones coming in yeah they're more of a lilac than they are pink but they start off like that actually they start off like this and then they go to that I wanted to show you what I got besides the rug. We bought this tall glass dome. I've always wanted one of these. You could be so creative with this. You could stack it with cookies, um, but I intend to use it more for more artsy kind of thing. You could put some rocks in there. You could put butterflies. You could put flowers in there. You could put a miniature doll if you like miniatures. You can put miniatures in here. You could put fairy lights in there. I mean, what you can do with these, endless options. Just depends on your imagination. I've seen so many uh, different ways to style these. All you have to do is look on Pinterest for some ideas. And this was $20, so this opens up. And then I also got these. So these are really pretty. They're not Asian, but they have that Asian kind of design um, almost. But they could be Moroccan, they could be any tribal, they could whatever. Um, but I like the size, you can tell they're quite small. I have very small hands. So these ball, balls, <laughs> bowls, bowls are quite small. So they're the right size for dipping sauces, for dessert. But I really wanted it for dessert. And how much should we pay for it? $2.99, $3 each. I also need to drink my water, as you can see. I try to remind myself to drink at least mm, six glasses of water. Because it is really hot. I also got this here contraption, which doesn't look like much, but this is actually a shelf. And it's very versatile. I can use it to put potted plants on here, or I can use it to put books, or I can use it for what I intended it for, which is to put bathroom supplies. So our bathroom is big, but for whatever reason, it's big, but without a lot of storage. So we have a bathroom, um, you see this was $40, not $40, $50, $49.99 at home. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna take this upstairs to my bathroom. I just washed this. So you know there, there are things I could eat every day. One of them is plantain, and I don't actually have any plantain today. I do have some avocados left and bananas. Another is a mango, a sweet mango. So, yeah, I could literally eat that every day. You have to be careful. That wasn't very graceful, but... And the best part I like is sucking the seed. Let's get us a nice little plate. So yeah, I usually give the kids the two sides and then I eat the middle part, or what I call the seeds. The seed. Because I like sucking on the seed. And it still has a lot of meat. A lot of meat on it. So... 
Mmm, you see that? That is some good stuff. Ah, mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> so here's my very vanilla bathroom. It's pretty large, but it's boring. Pretty basic and boring. Um, there's a long sink top here for Kenton and I. And as you can see, the problem numero one is that obviously we have some cabinets, but it is not enough for storage because we keep most of our daily um, use products on top of the counter. And that's sloppy, that's just not good for my vibe. Um, we do have some drawers here where I keep stuff. These you can see are small drawers. Down here it's bigger. I have all my like curling iron, uh, flat iron, um, curlers, you know, typical girl stuff. So there, this stuff is filled underneath. Anyway, you can see boring. There's a window, which I'm thankful to have a window in a bathroom. I love having a window in the bathroom because you can open it up for ventilation. Um, but just look at the walls, just big, bland, big garden tub. Um, but there is a lot of blank wall and ideally I would put up some shelves um, or put up you know, some cabinets or hang something else on the wall, but this is a rental, I'm not gonna do all that. Another view from the, to the counter, the door, um, there's a shower, the door over there. baskets I believe from either home goods or uh, home goods or Ross one of those so I love that I get to clear off all the products that I had on top here so anything that I use on a daily basis I put in one basket so I have hair stuff in another basket like this won't go in here um, or that but anything like lotion, powder, deodorants, I put that in one basket. So it keeps it kind of organized and accessible for me. So hair stuff, go in the hair bin. I've got a lot of hair stuff. Especially as I transition towards natural hair. So that little shelf holds so much product. But the thing is, when you look at this, it's just like, blah, it's lifeless. So what I like to do to any space when I think it looks lifeless is what? Ding, 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 ding. Add a plant. <laughs> yeah, if you add a plant to any space, it will give it a little bit of spice and life. So this bromeliad is perfect because bromeliads like humidity and you're going to get some humidity in the bathroom because of the shower um, and also hopefully you have some light source light source i just wanted to mention a lot of times people say they don't have room for a big garden or they don't have room for plants in their house yeah you do if you can get a spaghetti jar like this this is just a spaghetti jar that we washed out and took off the label added some water and just put this little cutling and this is a good plant to have in a bathroom because it doesn't require a lot of light it doesn't require a lot of maintenance you could plant it in dirt or it will still root if you just plant it in water so simple and I'm just gonna put that in here and it's going to look like it's been here for years. <laughs> okay, let's soften up the window a little bit and add a light or very sheer curtain. I 
I like when a curtain looks very full. I don't like it to look too flat. Um, yeah, it has to feel full and luxurious, even when the fabric is inexpensive, because this is not an expensive fabric at all. Me personally, I'd rather have curtains than blinds. And I like that these aren't super long, so I don't have to worry about them touching the floor. But I still get a level of privacy. Sink top is mostly cleared up, which is how I like it. I don't like too much stuff on the top of the sink area. And now I have this super cute area. So much better than what it looked like before and it's practical. So, just want to show you, we've got the plants, I have this statue, um, or piece of art really, it's not a statue per se, it's a piece of art that was made by my aunt in England, it was handmade, Auntie Nina. She still lives in England, she's a really big artist, just gives me that zen, and so it goes really well with this fern. Um, that I have here and the little plant in the jar that I showed you earlier. So everything has its place. So now the next thing I need to focus on is I think I need a piece of art um, on that wall and I would like when I'm sitting on the throne <laughs> to look at something straight ahead that is attractive. So on that big wall above the bathtub, I need a piece of art. And I have several pieces of art. Um, just trying to find one that will work okay in a bathroom because you don't want to put expensive art or um, you know something that will get spoiled by um, the humidity. So you want to put something that eh, you're not gonna worry too much about, so that's what I mean. Khalid gave me a whole set of candles, so this is one of them, and I think that would look nice right here, next to my lady, right here. You know what your mom's trying to say is though, even still, if they told you, you still right, you still experience. know it's very different. It's I mean, it's gonna be extremely different it's than a, it's a it's a new it's you know a, we're not going into an auditorium well, we're not people, all well we are going to auditorium but it's, right. it's going to be just us and she walks across nigeria and anybody else who's watching us don't forget jamaica oh of course don't forget the caribbean don't forget jamaica I'll never forget jamaica <laughs> Oh, by the way, today is, like I said, June 12th, it is Loving Day. So today marks the anniversary 53 years ago when the United States Supreme Court deemed it, I guess, no longer against the law uh, for interracial marriages to exist. So prior to 53 years ago, Loving versus Virginia, prior to that, um, you could be jailed. It's interracial. Yeah, interracial marriage. You could be jailed for having a relationship with someone different from your race. So anyway, we have a lot of work to do when it comes to race relations in America and in the world as a whole. But at least thank God we are not where we used to be. Thanks to so many heroes that came before us. Ah, see, so that's right. So it creates emotions. <laughs> You're not a cyborg after I, all. I didn't, no. your mother and I didn't put you together with synthetic parts. <laughs> no, you don't. Even Arlita wanted to be more human. Ah, haven't been up here in a long time. <laughs> bus drop, oh, but usually we go the other yeah, side. Yeah, you said the, that's the bus part. Oh, okay. Right here, honey, or no? Quiet. I guess yeah, they they're really buses here. Or, yeah, or do I keep going? Keep going. Up there. Do I keep going? Yeah. Um, oh, it's a circle over here. Wow. We've never really come this no, side, no, have we? Yeah. This is the yeah, bus side. Is... Yeah, oh, okay, this is the bus side, the back side of the school. 
Here she goes. So, Miriam is, is uh, part of the Thespian Society for Theater and Arts. Mm -hmm. So that's what she's got to uh, get in court for, for her service. $20 for a cord? Is yeah. that what you say? Yeah. Mm. I got to sign the brick. So each class, mm -hmm. our main class is a brick. So mine is class of 2020. Hey, pull the mask off. Where's the brick? Uh, it's in the um, crossover. So we have the, the um, shop mm -hmm. and there's like this hallway mm -hmm. where you go. So then you go on stage, the actors walk through it. Yeah. Each brick is painted and there's a class of 2020. So all my classmates, theater classmates had signed it. Oh, cool. So you signed it? Yeah. That's nice. Come up through the front here. Congratulations, Carboro High School. Go Jags. So that's this is the front of the school over here. Still so it's probably going to be crowded tomorrow, yeah, right? Even crowded. though they're going to do it timed where each family comes Sorry, at designated to time. So, Mariam, you going to miss this school? Um, just some teachers. Some teachers? Oh. Are you going to have cards for them or should have thank you cards? You have a thank you card for staying? 